Yeah, we'll see, take the full teens, will you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bessie! Why oh, is your legs all right, girl? Not too great, lady! No! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Blake. These are the only togs I could find. Oh, it's all right, mate. It suits Good morning everyone, how you doing? It's Paul here for Unusual Things. Now this morning we are in St Patrick's Catholic Cemetery um, in North London. Well, that's central London actually. I don't know where I got North London from. I get confused with London. There's so many places I've been to and where I go to and I'm just like fried by it all. My little brain can't handle it all. My little pea brain. Right, anyway, uh, we are here today to find the final resting place of that wonderful funny actor and very clever man as well Stephen Lewis now I have been asked for this visit more times than I've had hot dinners believe me um, so I thought it's about time I give them what they want and uh, come and find the final resting place of Stephen Lewis <coughs> first wow look at this look at that Certainly is an unusual thing. Don't see many of those lurking around your local cemetery, do you? Now, um, yes, very shortly I will tell you a little bit about Stephen, of course. Uh, if you liked the video today, please give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. Please subscribe to the channel, it's absolutely free. It does not cost you a single penny. Um, and of course, and um, hit that notification bell and uh, you'll be notified when the latest videos come out. Now, if there's any new subscribers to the channel, I'll bring that in a little bit closer. Uh, if there's any new subscribers to the channel, welcome. When I do a premiere, when the video goes out, come into the live chat because Everyone's very welcoming. We all say hello and uh, we all get to know each other. We've got a lovely little group in there now of people where we just all have a chat and good fun. Now, I was going to get the drone out today, but it is too windy. I've looked on the app, it says it's too windy up high. I know it doesn't look it, it don't feel it, but it is there. Um, so sadly, I won't be getting the drone out today, which is a bit of a disappointment really, but I don't want to lose it so soon after getting it. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I will tell you now, I will shut up and tell you all about Stephen Lewis and we'll go find his final resting place. Stephen Lewis, 17th of December 1926 to the 12th of August 2015. Credited early in his career as Stephen Cato, was an English actor, comedian, director, screenwriter and playwright. He is best known for his role as Inspector Civil Blakey Blake in On The Buses. Lewis was born at All Saints Maternity Hospital in Poplar, London, England. He worked as a bricklayer, electrician's mate and carpenter and also joined the Merchant Navy before turning to acting. He was persuaded to go to a performance by the Theatre Workshop under its director, Joan Littlewood. It was common after these performances to invite members of the audience to meet the cast. He was invited to an audition, landed the part and left the sea to become a member of the company. Lewis made his West End theatre debut with the transfer of Brendan Behan's The Hostage in 1958. In 1960, he wrote Sparrows Can't Sing with the Theatre Workshop, which was made into Sparrows Can't Sing in 1963, starring Barbara Windsor, Roy Kinnear and Lewis himself. 
as well as his future on the bus's co-star Bob Grant. He used the surname Cato in his early stage career, but after writing Sparrows Can't Sing, he was urged by his agent to use his real name. From 1969, Lewis starred in the best remembered role as the gruff inspector Blakey in the British sitcom On the Buses, which ran for 74 episodes and spawned three films, On the Buses, 1971, Mutiny on the Buses, 1972, and Holiday on the Buses, 1973. He co-wrote 12 episodes with fellow star Bob Grant. Lewis was made up to look much older than his actual age, with heavy makeup. He was only 42 when the programme began. A spin-off series, Don't Drink the Water, 1974 to 1975, ran for two series. The featured Blakey retiring to Spain with his sister, Dorothy, played by Pat Coombs. In the 1990s, Blakey appeared regularly on Jim Davidson's version of The Generation Game on BBC One. In addition, Lewis played the coach driver with a very similar characteristics to Blakey in a 2000 edition of ITV's 1970s sitcom, The Grimleys. He also appeared in Manhunt in a rare villainous role as Melisse in episode two. He and Bob Grant starred in a TV show called Jug Brothers 1970, but this never got past the pilot episode. The films in which Lewis acted included A Prize of Arms 1962, Sparrows Can't Sing, 1963, which he also wrote, Negatives, 1968, Staircase, 1969 with Richard Burton and Rex Harrison, Some Will, Some Won't, 1969, The Magnificent Seven Deadly Sins, 1971, The Last Remake of Bo Guest, 1977, Personal Services, Out of Order, both 1987, and The Craze, 1990. He also appeared in two British sex comedies, Adventures of a Taxi Driver, 1976, and Adventures of a Plumber's Mate, 1978. In 1988, he took one of the longest running roles playing Clem Smiler Hemingway in the BBC sitcom Last of the Summer Wine. The character appeared in many episodes for 17 years until ill health forced Lewis to leave the series and retire in 2007. In 1996, Lewis played Harry Lambert, the signalman, in the BBC pilot of sitcom O Dr Beeching, which ran for two further series. He appeared as a guest on sitcoms such as One Foot in the Grave, 2.4 Children, Father, Dear Father, London's Burning and The Grimleys. He also played the character of Alf, a comedy writer in the second series of the all-new Alexi Sale Show, 1995. Stephen Lewis died at the age of 88 on the 12th of August 2015 in a nursing home in Wanstead, London, where his sister Connie also resided. So there's all the information there about Stephen Lewis and what a lovely, kind, funny, intelligent and generous man he was. Um, like I said at the start, so many of you have asked me to come and pay my respects to Stephen's final resting place. Um, you know, so well known for on the buses and of course last of the summer wine as well. So we'll have a look, a look around. I know that he's up on this higher bit of ground here, but we'll have a good look. Ah, and do you know what? I think I found it. That wind is certainly picking up. You can see why I didn't get the drone out now. Whew. Right, here we are. In loving memory, Stephen Blakey Lewis, actor and writer, born 17th of December 1926. He boarded the last bus to the cemetery gates on the 12th of August 2015, greatly missed by his family and fans. Wow. So there we have it, the final resting place, Stephen Blakey Lewis. Massive thank you, Stephen, for all the entertainment you brought us all over the years making us laugh and with that <laughs> just that funny look on his face bless you thank you from all of us well that wind's starting to pick up now uh, Stephen Blakey Lewis there what an amazing man he was uh, how funny talented clever I've said it all before can't really say much more than that can we um, Beautiful little place, really. It's like slap bang in the middle of nowhere. You don't really know it's there, and then you just sort of stumble across it. Anyway, 
thank you as always for watching uh, if you like the video today please give it a thumbs up and uh, leave your comments down below that's the most important part what did you like about uh, Stephen Lewis what was a favorite program that he was in uh, leave your comments down below and let me know won't you and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and I will see you all on the next one take it easy